Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. Now. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create. The perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. You only have one body, folks. Remember that. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market-wise, mm -hmm. let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down three. Nasdaq is up twelve. S and P is up twelve and a half. Gold contract up fifteen dollars ninety cents. Traded at eighteen seventy two an ounce. We had silver up twenty five cents. $23.60 an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck, $93.08 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up one tick, 125.25, the 30-year flat at 150.24 and king dollar. King dollar is down 287 ticks, trading 95702, euro 113, yen at 115 and a half, and the British pound at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line is you have a higher price. We're going to have another contraction of volume. It's Wednesday. So bottom line is that, you know, this should be a positive week. Um, you know, it's creeping up. It's clawing back. It's doing everything that the market does on a counter trend bounce. That's the reality. So yesterday what we did is this. You know, we if we go back to last week, it came down $153 million. That was on Friday, right? Yesterday, we go up on 88. We're at 59 right now, so we might do 80, you know, but the bottom line is that when you see these, if they're a counter trend bounce, folks, as we go higher, the volume is going to keep contracting. And more than likely, you know, the S&P looks to me like it's going to try to get to the top of this range, which is the 458. Inside the, uh, well, here, let's go into the futures first and see what the futures are looking like right now, because when the Fed minutes come out, the bottom line is that the market, like the Fed minutes, um, you know, went higher. Uh, that being said, let's take a look at this baby intraday. Okay, so we just, we're going to try to take this swing out. Oh, this would be pretty cool. Let me see this here then. Okay. We go yesterday and the day before. Oh, this could get interesting. Okay, here, let's do this. Let's just see if we can get an ABC going. So, yeah, you can get an ABC. So, it did, when you look at this intraday for a couple days, we had done just almost a 0.618 retracement, but that means that you can do an ABC if we can get over uh, 44.76 and we're right at it. It's gonna have the volume. So here, let's do these numbers. Let's figure this out. So 44.67, that's 67.70, that's 87. 87 on top of, uh, yeah, that's, it's pretty funny. I, I know that Tigers and Tigers is looking for the den 4,500. That's, that's what this is saying. This is, this has to 
this is already, let me see this. I think it has the volume. It does. It's, it's saying 4,500 is there in the S&P. NQs. Let's go to the NQs. Okay. I suspect we did the same thing here. Okay. So... Okay, so let's see. This one probably retraced too much, though. Whoops, close that. I'm doing the NQs right now, folks. That's what we're going to do, so. Uh, yeah, the NQs re retraced too much. So the, the NQs are not going to be an ABC structure up. Um, the S&Ps very well could be right now. That, that's how that baby's shaking out. Gold, we go take a look at the gold contract out here. What we have with gold is that we hit a low today of 1851, a rejected lower price. We are at 1871 right now. And okay, so that's good. We have volume at highs right now. Uh, so that, that high is the volume, which is really cool. Uh, we do have light of volume here, but what we also have is that the last two days it was punching into this high with volume. Now, I'm gonna go over if you have my book, you know. 100% move of a move. Most times, this is what ends up happening, folks, okay? And the 100% move of the move would be, we started out in 1882, that was November 16th. We go all the way down to 1755. What I've found is that once, you, when you just make it back up there the first time, most times, you are not gonna blow by right that, that number. Most times, what you're gonna do, you're gonna back down a little, uh, I'm not saying going to the other end of the consolidation. You, you'll back down because I like how the volume, you're pushing into that with volume. So most times you'll back down a bit. You'll build more cars. Today's a tough one to really wrap your head around because it is an inside day. If, the, if this had got below the low of yesterday, then I would be able to say that it rejected lower price. It really hasn't done anything at this point. That, that's the real point. So we'll see where that wants to go. I want to look at a couple of the gold equities because that'll tell us a lot more. And if we go to uh, the GDX, the GDX is on an ABC structure up. You got a little volume dying on the vine right now, but that's a confirmed ABC structure up. Let me go to an eco, an eco eagle, and yeah, I see some of these. These are these are not getting the volume. They're not getting the volume. But Anglo Ashante is not getting the volume either. Um, higher, it's higher by thirty-two cents, but it's quite a contraction. You can see that. Last, uh, no, Monday we ended up, we did 4 million shares and we're doing 2.3. You're coming into the high with 4.7. This is going to build more cars. That's, that's how this seems to be working. Now, notes and bonds, whole different number, folks, okay? Um, this note and bond market is building cars to get to lower price. You know, we came down the first leg. You're, you're trying to get higher today. You're up two ticks with 1.5 million contracts. And it made a low with 3.4, I think. Let me see what it was. 3.1. So this sideways move five days now, that's building cause for the next leg, leg down. That's how that is shaken out. Uh, what is interesting, there's no doubt, is that when you go into those Fed meetings, mi minutes, um, you know, they're saying that, hey, listen, um, if this inflation don't stop, they're going to accelerate all of this. But the market's not believing it, man. <laughs> that's the real bottom line. That, that's how this is set up right now. The market's just not believing it. Dow Industrials right now down 34. NASDAQ is up 2. S&P's up 8.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 37. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are up 8.5. Yeah, let's go take a look at Barrick Gold. Barrick Gold, the uh, bottom line is that this guy really knows what he's doing. Got a huge expansion up here today. Uh, you already had, let's see. So you, you, this launched, okay, so let's take, take a look first. This launched the whole consolidation. Has launching it with volume. That gives us 21. For that's 25. Let's see where 25 is right now. This is up a buck 65. I see. Okay, so this thing's going to be gunning for 24 right now. Uh, they come out with their numbers. Number wise, they're going to have a. This is pretty intense, man. Uh, they are going to be buying back Barrick Gold, exceeded earnings estimates, raising dividends, and unveiled a share buyback program. As the world's second largest bullion supplier, contains cost and lifts production. The Toronto-based miner said it's board authorized to report. They purchase one billion in shares over the next year and increase this regular quarterly dividend by eleven percent after capping a ten straight quarterly earnings beat. Its share rose by more than five percent. This guy, Mac Bristo, is something else, man. Uh, after cutting debt, tidying up at the asset por portfolio, lifting reserves, and navigating supply chain snarls, Chief Executive Officer Mac Bristo is delivering on a promise to reward shareholders. The gold and copper producer joins other major miners like Glencore in shelling out generous capital returns. And see, the, the, the key to understand and remember about him is that PHDC. Where do you see this? Okay. So, you know, you have big funds, no doubt, that, that own a lot of shares. But I'll bring you down here. Let's just see where Mark is. Individual-wise, I suspect he's the biggest owner individually. There he is, right there. So look at this, folks, okay? <laughs> he owns... Now, everything above this, you can see, are all big funds, governments... And then number 35, Mark Dennis Briscoe. There it is right there. 6.4 million shares he owns. You know, you're talking, you know, he's always had a lot of money. A lot, he's always had a lot of his own money uh, in Rangold. Rangold, he was the, and they, they took over Rangold, and he was the biggest shareholder then. But bottom line is that it makes a huge difference when, in fact, uh, you are a large holder and you're the CEO. Okay, so the bottom line, you get both things working for you simultaneously. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equity. Well, here, let's go take a look at some of the dogs first. So we had uh, Robolex, right? This, this poor thing is, like, really in tough shape. So 
This is down 20, 20 bucks. This is going to be, okay, so watch this. If you remember, this was basically, you had a, well, let me do it this way, because uh, I know there's a high volume low on this that wasn't tested. There it is. Okay, so watch this, folks. This is sick. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what this does. 141. Oh, my God. It's 90 bucks. 90 puts you out of business. So, I can tell you this. I haven't seen this for a while, folks. Do not buy this stock. And I remember this so well in the 2000 era. And if we're back to the 2000 era, it's going to be kind of a trip. Well, it's going to be a real trip. But this is a confirmed ABC structure down to minus 20. You can see the straight well here. Let me do it this way. I'll do it this way because it went sideways for two weeks. Let me do it this way. 108. That's still a disaster. That's 56. Okay, so 66. So it might go to 18 bucks. But this is serious business, man. This, so picture this, folks. Okay, let, let's see what they did. Because they, when they, when they went public, oh, look at this. Oh, is this a, no information. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. It was a spark. Okay, let me do it this way. Okay, so let me bring this back. Where did you start? Looks like it's starting right there. <laughs> well, bottom line is that don't touch this thing. Let's see what they're saying. They're saying that they, uh, okay, they took in 770 million. They lost 25 cents. They're claiming that they're gonna lose money for the next three quarters. And then they're claiming they're gonna break even and then finally make three cents the last quarter of 2022. That's if they're going to be around that long. That's, uh, that's, how, that's how bad this thing is trading. So uh, the entertainment products and services, the company designs, develops wide range of online games, internet three-dimensional intuitive games. Yeah, they got a problem. Let's go to Shopify. That's got another problem child out here. When you're talking about from highs to lows, it's pretty amazing. So Shopify came out with numbers. Shopify, it's an ABC down too. Unreal. Yep, it's an ABC down. So... This ABC down here, 1191. It's almost 400 bucks. That gets you 580. So let's say 600. Let's see where 600 is. This, way, this, this thing wants to go to 600 bucks. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, the, the, when you get something like this, this is going back to the breakout area, man. I mean, yeah, 665, you, the bottom of that is 334. Monster problem. Airbnb, uh, that, now this is just the opposite. Airbnb came in with some numbers. It's up 852. This was right before I got off the air. I wish I had saw it earlier, folks, because it was a confirmed ABC structure up. You can see it was taken out the B point, took it out with volume. Uh, this is 177. It's, this is a nice A to B. 44 points. That's going to get you uh, 206. And the last highs up here were 212. This is going after its highs. Uh, so there's, there's some action here, no doubt, in the holiday space. So Airbnb took in $1.5 billion. They're looking to take in $1.4 next quarter. And um, they basically brought $0.08 cents to the bottom line. So not bad. They lost $0.57 cents for the year. They're going to be looking to make a buck fifty-three next year and uh, go from $6 billion to $7.8 billion in the next year at nine point five. So they're, look, they're looking for some action out here. We take a look at some of the uh, other high volume equity stocks and mostly are gonna be low volume out here today. I get Viacom, what's going on with that? Leads, S&P loses. Let's see what Viacom's doing. This thing's getting smoked. This is down 680. Um, put this up. Okay, so this is holding the low even though it's Oh, this is dangerous. Okay, so this is this is actually hammering a low with volume. You break that you break that low, man. You're really in trouble. PayPal. Let's go take a look at PayPal out here. P Y P L, I think. Okay, so PayPal down four fifty five. This is the low of the last fifty two years. Fifty two years. About fifty two weeks. Sorry, folks. And where is this going, man? Oh man. Yeah, it's it's going back to visit its friends at eighty two bucks. 
Don't touch this thing. This is a monster ABC down. Yeah, this is like insane. Okay, the most conservative take on it would be 273. So it's 96 bucks, which gets you 100. Oh, I see. That's interesting. The ABC down is 100 on that, baby. That's how that's shaking out. You know, it's pretty wild, folks, that the, you know, I think we're going to counter trend bounce. But what's also happened here, there are so many equities. When they're getting smoked, man, you'll get, you're getting smoked like 20, 25% overnight. That is a market that wants lower price. That doesn't happen in markets that go up. Because what happens in markets go up, of course, the, the prices are way too high, you know. And then when they go down, they're way too low. But guess what? We're on the second part of this, meaning the way too low cost structure. You know, it'll take two or three years in order to that for that get straightened out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 10. You get the NASDAQ up 16. S&P's up 11 and a half. So if we take a look at the Fed, you know, a couple of the quotes out here. Most participants noted that if inflation does not move down as they expect. Can you imagine that? Like... Do any of you folks out there expect inflation to kind of move down? It would be appropriate for the committee to remove policy accommodations at, at a faster pace than currently anticipated, according to the minutes of January 25th and 26th. The thing that's amazing to me, folks, is this. Okay, so, so let's, let's walk through the, the, the way inflation gets, like, accelerated in a big way is that, you know, you go from goods, goods 
You go into services, you go into payrolls, right? It's already there, man, where it's all built in. And it's built in, you know, they're saying 6 or 7% of it's built into the, the, the kicker of 23 to 30%. We've already kicked it in, man. I mean, my take on this thing, they're going to have to not only, well, my take is they're only going to have a quarter point the next time because they're dreaming. I don't know what they're freaking eating, man, but they're eating, they're, <laughs> they're eating something, okay? Um, that's the real bottom line. And when you start raising rates, okay, there'll be a quarter point raise every single month. Or every single, they go uh, about 45 days. I mean, it's, it's a big number. Let's go to Gary in Michigan. Hey, Gary, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? All right, thanks. Hey, listen, um, I um been on the move all day today, and I so I, I haven't been able to catch up. Uh, but can you kind of fill me in a little bit what you think for tomorrow for PLTR? Um, this one's different than my new skin because it's got a huge amount of shares outstanding, a lot of back and forth. And um, I, I um, had a run up a little bit this week, so I I got some stuff that's expiring. I've got stuff out to two years on this one, mostly heavily one to two years out. Okay. But I've got some short-term stuff, so I'm curious what you think. So let's let's take a look. The lows 1175, the highs $30. Uh, they're going to take in $419 million, and they plan on making $0.30. Cents. Okay, so pull this back. Yeah, I mean, you just got to be careful here, man. I mean, this, this still has a, that eleven seventy five hasn't been tested yet, so... That's what I needed to hear. I'm getting yeah. rid of my Friday options and cashing them in. I yeah. doubled my money. That's good enough. <laughs> Gary, do you see this? See, when this started, right, this is something to keep your eye on. When you put this up, go back to November on a weekly. November of 2020, that's when it broke topside, right? That's mm -hmm. what it probably wants to do. Because when it gets this close, what I've found is this. The high volume spike is 1176. The beginning of the breakout is 1023. So it's almost like, you know what, that's pretty easy to do. Um, and you can see, so we hit that on a weekly with 335 million shares. Then you went higher with 252, and you're going sideways, you know, so. How's the volume been? That's my point. The, the, the volume, when you come down this hard, most times you're going to test that high volume low, and we haven't tested it yet. So you went back up with lighter volume. That's what you did, you know. Got it. Now, okay, that being, yeah, yeah, now, that being said, now, that. Hey, check this out, because this is what ends up happening with a chart like this. When it does decide to turn, right, though, what I do is this. When it turns, then you go to the highest and last one on the way down, and that would be saying that, okay, then, then it wants to go to $17. And where I'm going there with that, that's uh, the week of May 14th of 2021. That's when they turn, that's, that's how you can kind of gauge, like, okay, now it's going to gun for that, and we'll see what kind of volume it has as it gets to that point. You see what I'm saying? And you want rising volume as you're getting, heading up to that point? That's what you'd that like point? to see. What you'd like to see is this. You'd like to see, first, a sign of strength. So a sign of strength means that you just get wide price spread, accelerated volume, right, even for a day. Then it backs down a little with lighter volume. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then most of the time it'll go sideways, but then you get the, that, that's the beginning of the next uptrend. That's what normally happens. It, the volume doesn't have to go up every day. It has to spike, then you pull back, spike, it pulls back, then, then you normally go sideways, and that's the building cause of the next move higher. That's how it normally works. Got it. Okay. Thanks. And congratulations you're, you're, on your new skin. That's the first thing I did this morning was pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Hopefully Have a great we one, man. A little bit. Uh, it's, it's got, uh, we got to get you some of that collagen so you can become a believer. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, listen, man. I, 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 it's a beautiful thing. It's important to no, take no, care no, of yourself. You were believing yesterday. I get it. But I'm just saying I'm believing in the product because uh, it's, it's life-changing, in my opinion, for That's a lot a of people. That's a beautiful thing. Health, so. I like and it. I'd love to. And Cooking, man. people I care about, and I definitely care about you and, and you guys, you and your son and family. So be well, and and, and, and that's the number one thing these days. <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hey, be well. And thanks for all the great teaching. Thank you. Bye -bye. Let's go to John in St. Petersburg. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How's it going? Going great, man. Yourself? Doing fantastic. Thank you. Okay, so 
Fidelity National, yes? Yes, yes. FIS, yes. FIS, look at this thing, man. So, what happened to this pro stock, man? I know, right? Yeah. So, um, just to let you know what happened, um, today uh, I saw that um, there was a huge dip there, so I ended up buying some uh, call options thinking I was going to get a big bounce, and um didn't really happen, so... Um, trying to figure out what to do with this thing. You know, do I ride it out? I mean, I've got plenty of time. I bought a call option for July. Yeah, no, um, I wouldn't ride it out. Because this $91 okay. wants to get tested. See that 91 down there? Yeah. Yeah. It's not That's good. what I was concerned about. But right. I did, you know, honestly, I didn't think this stock would actually do that. Yeah, listen, man, you, I, I, I know the stock. And I looked at it, I said, whoa, what just happened here, man? Because they're yeah. in a great business, man. I mean, you know, that, that's... Pfft. This I know, and that's what I don't understand. I can't find any news. Everything they've been reporting has been positive. There's, what, there's really nothing there. This, is what, it, this is what it would be. What it would be is that, so, so picture, folks, okay, when we think, you know, MasterCard, Visa, and all that, these new, you know, Vimos, you know, cash apps, these are hitting these companies. You can see it, and they're going to hit them in a big way, man. I mean, you, you, no young kids are going to be running around with Visas and MasterCards. You know what I mean? Then they're, they're not even yeah. gonna know what a Visa or Mastercard is, <laughs> and that's who, what, that's dump, what you're looking who's at. Who's dumping here. the shares? I'm sorry, what? Who who is dumping the shares? Is it an, is it institutional investors dumping? Well, let's take a look. Okay, so twenty twenty one. So let's see, twelve thirty two. Well, well, you get Viking, they dumped everything in last quarter. I mean, well, yeah, the last quarter. That's 12 21. Um, let me pull this back. Let's see if who's buying it. That may give us a better indication. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I'd cover yourself, man. That, I mean, you lose a, a few bucks today, but that would be better than losing time and losing dollars. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, believe believe it or not, I'm up like fifty bucks right now. I bought it. I bought the perfect the option. Get off the, the phone and sell it. When it was down about ninety nine bucks. That's awesome, man. Yeah, it hit ninety eight. I don't ninety eight, ninety six. Do it. I'd do it. Yeah. Because it's all what it's also doing here. It's breaking. It's breaking this swing. And eighteen, twenty two. Yeah, and it's gonna have volume. It's gonna be a weekly ABC down, man. Yeah, this is going to go after that high volume swing low of uh, March of uh, COVID March. Thank you, Tom. Cooking, brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all prices levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up six. NASDAQ is flat. S&P is up 11 and a half. Let's go take a look at those SMHs because we were looking at them yesterday. They basically didn't have the juice. Yeah, it's not going to have the juice, man. This is So yesterday what we did is this. So picture, you come down out there with 11.6 million. Going up yesterday with 6.4, today you only have 4.3. That's a big number, folks. Um, pretty cool. It's, this, is, <laughs> this is just kind of how it goes. Uh, Walmart, I believe Walmart's coming out with numbers. They're coming out with numbers after close? I know they're coming out with numbers. Okay, they're coming out tomorrow morning. So they're looking to do, the low for the year in Walmart's 126, the high's 152. They're looking to do uh, 151 billion. My God, that's 3 billion a week. Three billion a week. Unbelievable, man. That is like crazy. Okay, bottom line, that's what they're looking for. Uh, $1.51 to the bottom line. Okay, so let's put this on a weekly. Oops. Okay, so... Coming down to the lower end of the, this has been consolidated. You know what's interesting about this one, folks? This was like looking like Walmart, actually. I mean, like uh, Amazon, because Amazon's been in a monster consolidation, you know. So this here, 132. Yeah, that, you know what? This is telling me we're going to go higher here on Walmart, because what you got is this. So, the high volume low from March of 2021, the high of that low is 132. The volume for the week is 61 million. Oh, this gets interesting, though. If we could get it coming out, we're only at, that's going to have to do a heck of a lot. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. That wants to go higher. The reason being is this. The reason I just checked that, folks, is this. We know when they come out with numbers, anyone comes out with numbers, the volume can expand pretty dramatically. I just don't think it's going to expand as much as... Uh, 40 million when it's doing six or seven million a day. So what it's done, it went down to the highs of the lows of the week of March. The volume is tremendously lighter. So that's telling me that it's going to try to basically jump back. Nothing heavy, but jump back inside like 135, 136. Let's go to our man Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, what's going on, brother? Brent. Yeah, hey, Tom, hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Sorry about that. I was listening on the That's all right. computer. No, no, we, 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 we there's know. a lag. That's cool. So like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so imagine that lag. Isn't it cool when you think about it? You got, you're going through the air, and it's the lag. Like, we're going from St. Petersburg to Martinez, California. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing well. Good. I'm happy about uh, things went well with uh, Barrett today. I talked to you about that the other That's day. That's for sure. Yeah. They're working out well. That's, um, yeah. I was going to have you take a look at this one. It's called HiMax Technology. They do. It's a semi. It's a, they're out of Taiwan. But, okay. And I know it's, if, you, if you look at the really going back about a year or so, it's been in this consolidation between 10 and 16. And, and uh, I just want to get your thoughts. And I, I believe their earnings are tomorrow. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, so I, let's I, take a look. I, I got in around the 10 area, you know, one down to 10s. Okay. So I just wanted to... Get so, your thoughts on if you could. Yeah, so the low for the year, last 52 weeks is 948. The high is uh, 1730. We're trading 1212, 1221. So, right there, what is that? 1301. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Okay. Well, 1166. So it's just starting to dig into that big bar. So it looks like the, that was probably the last time they come out with numbers or something. Uh, yeah, the third, no, let's see. No, that was just a downdraft, okay. Because when that equity went from 16 to 11, at least 1166, so it's dug into it a little. You got a high volume high, man. So it, this chart here, folks, this is something to keep in mind all the time. It has a high volume high. So this wants to go back to 1798. That's where I always start with a chart, basically. I start like, okay, where's the bottoms, where's the highs? When you see something like this, say, okay. Now, you can ask that, okay, why did it get destroyed off of that? Well, you can see when this went up, this, this stock started at $3.45. And, you know, 12 weeks later, it was at 1788. But guess what? That's a high volume high. You pulled into where it was the kind of the midship of going up with dramatically lighter volume. And then whoever this was here, Brent, though, really dumped it good, man. Like, it's interesting. They, they waited right, to, right next to the high and then they let loose on it. But you're into it right now. So it looks to me like it's gonna dig into that bar, meaning you're already in 1166. The, the more that you can dig into that bar, the higher that it will get into the bar. Meaning if you dig into that, let's say we're at 1223. If we get to 1350, it'll go to 16. It'll, it'll get up that far. Uh, let me just put this on a monthly for a second. I see, interesting, wow. Up, down. Yeah, I'd stay right there, man. Cause you know what this is on a monthly, man? This is crazy. This is a railroad track on a monthly. And on a railroad track like this, folks, you do buy um, the next leg down. That's what this is. And you know, it, one month it goes from 968 to 1650 and it comes right back down to 1003. Yeah, I'd stay right there, man. You know, um, don't get too heavy in it, but it's not a bad setup, man. I'm just doing options again. So. Yeah, well, that's cool. <laughs> right, totally. And, and are, are they liquid? Are the options liquid in this stock? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it does decent nice. volume. I, I try to not even do anything, <laughs> no stock that trades, you know, any less than, like, it needs to do at least a million, I guess is what I'm trying to Which is huge. You know, spit no, out that, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, it's I just, that's kind of always my, I've been doing options forever, and I just kind of, one thing I have been doing lately, I, I haven't been, you know, hanging around too long. Once I get what I want, I take my money, move on. That's right. I'm not not going to get too cute with it. So and I've just better, really been you? trying to do these. You know, I, I bought Zillow when it was down at 48, and it went up. You know, it's done well off their earnings, and so those are the kind of trades I've been doing. Just just kind of getting in, getting out. You know, so far the things have been working, and I don't have a lot of longer term stuff. Honestly, I'm just trying to be nimble right now and, and just you know pick up money here and there where I can. Well, what you're talking about, and this is really cool, folks, okay? What I've found is that when you get on a streak like that, right, um, you can do very well. Because I would say that most of us, at some point in the trade, you're in the money. And, you know, when you're picking up, you know, those nickels, um, it's a lot easier. And especially in the option market, because what ends up happening, we know... If you get the equity, well, just, just like the, when John from St. Pete called, look at it. I mean, he was wrong on the move. Well, he wasn't wrong. He just had to buy something that didn't move. But guess what? He's still going to make 50 cents from this morning because it was quick. And what happens in the option market, which is so cool, is that even you could buy something. If the volatility goes up, even if the stock's a little bit lower, the volatility is going to go up on it. So the price is going to be higher. So there's a, there's a lot of different things that, you know, I, I know you're aware of, but that's awesome, man, you know, because this is the type of market to do that, for sure, you know. Cooking, brother. All right, thank you so much, Tom. Just have yourself a great day, and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Awesome, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. It's all green, folks. Sherman Williams, they get that green paint out here. 
Uh, low, uh, yeah, Dow's up uh, 13 bucks, NASDAQ up nine, S&P's up 14, we'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 11. Nasdaq's up 6. S&Ps are up 13. Let's go take a look at these indice volumes out here, folks. And so uh, inside the NYSE, you're dealing with 613 million. And that means it's not even going to do 900 million. Inside the Nasdaq composite, you're at 3.7. So you'll probably do about 4 billion. Uh, bottom line is that what you have out here is that you have the, the bounce. Bounce on light volume. What that sets up, uh, bottom line is that uh, we're going to wait for, you know, the top of this range and i suspect it's not going to make the top of the range and somehow this thing's going to flip right around the other side when you look at those minutes folks and you look at the market there's a disconnect in a monster way you know i know we'd all love to you know basically say we're going to have like inexpensive money for a long period of time that's over that's the bottom line that's over um you know rates are going up cost of money's going up and then you got to figure out if the cost of money's going up that means less things get done that, that's, that's the cut and dry deal of it. It also means that there's less people that can actually afford certain things. So that's the beginning of a slowdown. I mean, they gotta, they gotta pull the cord. Because if, if they don't pull the cord, what ends up happening is that if, I mean, we got an acceleration already that's been amazing. Um, then the acceleration just doesn't stop. I mean, that, that's the reality. When I suspect what they're gonna come back with afterwards 
Is they're going to come back with, oh, we're slowing down. Well, yes, we're slowing down because everything already went up 23 to 30 <laughs> percent. That's the reality, okay? You know, you can't accelerate up like that and then go sideways. Oh, you can go sideways. When this was in the 70s, we didn't accelerate up like that. It was a grind. It was a different, it was a different acceleration up. This one to me is that it took it all in at once. It took it all in from basically last April until Maple May, till June. Everything caught up with itself. It accelerated it up. Everyone says, I need more money. You know, you think you have money in a dollar or a hundred dollars, and guess what? We know it's not worth a hundred bucks value-wise what it was six months ago. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Look at him, folks.